Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about Netflix's film, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. Jingle Jangle was released on Netflix on November the 6th. It is rated PG. It is two hours and two minutes long. It is a fantasy musical. It does star Forrest Whitaker, Key and Michael Key, and the voice of Ricky Martin. Jingle Jangle, we're gonna just call that for short because it's a, it's a lot. It's going a lot for it. It's a cute little movie, you guys. It really is. I, I don't really think it's for everybody. Um, definitely, if you're not into musicals, then it won't really be for you because I know a lot of people out there, just musicals are not really your thing. But even though it is a musical, I really didn't feel like it was jam-packed with music. If that makes sense. Like, it wasn't like every single scene that, you know, we just broke out into song uh, and dance. Me personally, now remember, me personally, because you might have seen the movie, you might have really enjoyed everything with it. I personally just did not find the songs to be as memorable, to be honest with you. Usually, you know, there's at least one song that I'm going to be singing constantly. I literally just saw this movie last night. It really hasn't really stuck with me. I mean, the, the singing was really good for the most part. There's some here and there, like Forrest Whitaker, he did a pretty good, decent job. I feel like he may have been the weakest link uh, your child is delicate when it comes to death just can't really handle it starts crying then um just kind of be pre-warned that there is a death in um, the movie and it's certainly maybe that the child is delicate to death but maybe you yourself may not want uh your child to be introduced yet to some stuff like that so it's gonna pre-warn it, it's only at the beginning of the movie to be honest with you and then kiki michael king i don't really know how i feel about his character to be honest with you it's like i like him and like i feel like it works but then at the same time like i don't really don't no, if I really like how it worked and his song also I, I don't know he, he is technically like the villain well the actual real villain would be uh Ricky Martin's character which is on Juan uh Diego which is the actual like doll like it's like a little moving doll that Jeronica uh ended up making and brought to life and he's a very very uh vain kind of like matador kind of deal he's very into being a one-of-a-kind kind of doll and for him to be the villain he's not really villain like i never really found him threatening i never feared him i really felt like they could have just gone and done what they needed to do with him and that would have been the end of it like i feel like the movie just had so much stuff going for it the movie is two hours long you guys this movie shouldn't happen two hours long that's gonna be one of my main issues it, it should have been like an hour 30 hour 40 tops i think that they really like Mm, too much it gets to a point where you're just like it's it, how much longer is this gonna keep going and again they're just trying to like put so much things into this movie and there's also like this romance well I like, it's not really a romance because it really is just the male lady trying to get at forest like really has a uh, crush on him that whole situation deal is supposed to be like the comedic relief I guess of the movie Personally, I didn't find it funny. I found it kind of sad. I don't really necessarily classify this to be a, a Christmas movie, to be honest with you. It does take place within the Christmas time because the deadline, of course, is Christmas Day, which I guess goes well with the time period that we're in. I do like the time that we're, we're taking place, um, the, the way that, you know, the town and everything looks. And, and one of the main things that I did really enjoy about the movie would be the costumes. They're so, like, loud and vibrant. The toy shop, actually, at the beginning of the movie, honestly reminded me a lot of um, Mr. Um, what's his face? The one with uh, Dustin Hoffman, Wonder Emporium. I love that movie as well and it's like a whole like magical shop deal with it and it's kind of the same thing over here with the little magic stuff with that said I'm gonna give Jingle Jangle a medium popcorn even though I didn't really love it it is a really cutesy movie I think it's a great family friendly movie and I mean you can let me know down below if you've seen it or if you're planning on seeing it when you watch it do you consider this a Christmas movie I mean 
I guess it could be, right? Like, it's called The Christmas Journey. Oh, it is um, telling a story with this really awesome book, honestly. So I guess technically it is a Christmas movie, but I really don't see it very Christmassy. But, you know, I guess that can be up for debate. I'm going to say about Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. If you've seen this movie, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Is this not considered one of your favorite Christmas movies? If in fact you consider it a christmas movie but of course before you guys click on this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new Till next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye